Hey, what's up you guys? I wanted to kind of do a different video and I want to give you behind the scenes kind of a studio tour and setup and then also different types of videos and I felt like I could do it uh, right here right now give you kind of behind the scenes. Uh, please don't <laughs> don't judge too much. My wife would kill me if she knew I'm gonna film with uh, my studio being like this because we also have laundry all piled up everywhere. But I want to give you guys kind of what my setup looks like and then I'll talk about the different types of videos, okay? Now, first and foremost, before, and let me come over here into the light, before I show you guys my entire setup here in my studio, um, the type of video that I'm doing right now, it's called vlogging, okay? So vlogging is simply walking around with the camera. It, it was really popularized by Casey Neistat. He's not the one who invented it, other people were doing it, but it's called vlogging. So this is a type of video that you guys can create. But let's first and foremost talk about uh, the type of setups that you guys can be doing and I'll kind of walk you guys through this, okay? So I'm gonna flip the camera around here and this is my setup. So right here, you see the, the big white box up there, okay? And then I have my camera here. So this is my, my GH5, it's pointing right here. This is what the setup looks like. I actually have a bathroom over there that I typically cut out. I have my boom arm right here, okay? And then I'll give you guys the, the other side, what it looks like too, uh, with the 2i2 coming right here. I have this actually mounted up on uh, this little monopod, which is actually pretty cool. And then the whole thing is sitting on a desk that, uh, raises and lowers on its own. Okay. I think this is called uplift desk. This was, uh, if you saw in my other videos, the Sigma 16 millimeter, and it goes down to 1.4. It produces an amazing picture. Okay. And it's, that's basically the, the back version, the whole setup of what, what you're seeing, um, for what I do. Now this I set up just as an example. We're gonna go over this type of a setup here in a minute, but let me let me hop around so you guys can kind of see what I see when I'm filming. And then also we'll, we'll talk about the setups, okay? So uh, this is just background light that I have here in the back right here. You can see my YouTube play button and then the shelving over here with this light. That's a smart light. I shared that with you guys and the blue Yeti, which I did. Okay, so I'll flip this around real quick and let's, uh, let's talk about this, okay? Yes, I know it's very messy. I have a lot of this stuff out because I've been filming these videos. <laughs> My wallet's there, I got, it's messy, I know. But I'm, I'm filming right now for the course that I'm making right now. So this is what it looks like when I'm sitting here. Up to the left, I've got the, the box and you always want light. So remember I talked about light being important. It's right there. And then I have this boom arm, which sometimes, or I have done it before, I'll move over here closer. I can get rid of this if I need to. And I have that big long cord that can come all the way down, go around, and plug straight into the camera. So if I need to get audio just out of the camera, straight through a, a shotgun mic, which I talked to you guys already about, which I have over here. Actually, there's one right here, which we're gonna talk about here in a little bit. That's a shotgun mic, but you can mount it to that and get it closer out of the frame uh, to your shot, okay? So if you guys are doing something like this, you, you don't need you don't need to have a fancy camera to do this, you guys. You can still use uh, a webcam, okay? Now that's the Brio, but the C920 would be fine, okay? Actually, any anything to get started would be fine. So you have a combination of a couple different things that you can do. Right over here, you can see that I have a tripod, okay? You could put a tripod back there and my camera could be on a tripod and zoomed in a little bit instead of having it on the actual desktop. I have it on the desktop, so that way, as my desk goes up and down, my camera also will go up and down, so it's less headache. Uh, right here, because I have a uh, GH5, there's an app, and this is my wife's iPad that I pull it up and I can actually monitor that. Um, I don't always need to do that because I can pull it up on this monitor for for monitoring on OBS, which is really cool if I decide to use OBS uh, for like live streaming and, and things like that. So you could literally have that set up and you even use a ring light instead of a soft box like that and set it up back there, which I have done that before you guys. I used to actually have this set up 
And if you guys know who Pat Flynn is, I've met Pat Flynn at uh, VidCon, I think it was. And I got the switch pod, which is pretty cool. And I used to have this set up on, on that thing when I was downstairs, but it was, it was a lot closer, okay? But anyways, now I want to talk to you about another scene, okay? And this, this is a great scene right here if you guys are also recording your screen. It's, it's pretty cool because you can do tutorials, you can record your screen, and you can film yourself at the same time. Now, for most of you, you're gonna have to do that in two clips, all right? And by that, I mean, if you're not using a webcam, you're going to be um, recording your video and your camera, and then also recording your screen, and then post, have to tie them together, okay? You do that with an editing software. What I like about this setup that I have is, Right here, it's almost like the lazy man's way of doing it. I don't know if I can zoom in. Um, oh, no, I did focus lock. But this right here actually uh, plugs into the back of my, cam my computer. So it allows me to use my GH5, which is a very high quality, expensive camera. And I can use that as my my webcam and it makes it look so cool. And I haven't had that for a very long time, you guys. I think I got that uh, beginning of this year or end of last year. I think it was actually beginning of this year. So now let's switch scenes. So that's one scene that you guys can do. Another scene is you can create videos just like this, walking around and talking. If you go look at my YouTube channel on Freedom Influencer, I've done a ton of videos just like this, walking and talking, just trying to give value and, and uh, using thoughts and articulating a point, right? And you do that just by holding up the camera. So that's another way. Now, another one is using, and again, it's, it's such a mess, excuse the mess, but you can use something like a little couch or something and you can sit down here and then you can also use like a ring light and this is the diva this is why i mentioned this in, in a previous video i think it's really cool because you can attach this bar here and now your camera's in the middle and then this right here is a shotgun mic now this is the road this camera is the one that i didn't actually mention but it's the uh, eos m6 canon and you can see the problem right here right so this won't flip up and it's kind of a pain um, so what i ended up doing when i did used to use this I went and bought uh, this thing, which is basically just a bracket and it allows you to uh, have it on the side. So then uh, what, that, what you see there, that uh, shotgun mic would be on the side. But anyways, I don't recommend this one anymore. I recommend the Canon M50. I think it's the perfect YouTube camera, especially getting started. But you just sit here and then if I, if I actually come down and I sit here, then I want you guys, I'll flip the screen around and you can kind of see what I'm looking at. And you want to be fairly close. And if I was actually doing this, I'm shorter. So I would bring this down and bring it a little bit closer to me. Okay. So I'll flip this around. And now you can see what this looks like from the perspective of someone sitting right in front of the camera. Now, again, like I said, I would bring that closer. Another option that you could do in a setting like this is take that boom arm, take a boom arm, bring it closer to you, set it closer on maybe on the side put it just out of the shot on the top, and then you can plug it in. And so then your audio is getting pretty close. Now what I wanna share with you is another scene that I do quite often, or I have in the past, is, uh, is doing like a whiteboard. Now for me right now what I do is, because I like to streamline things, is I have my whiteboard, I'll set it up here, I'll lift my entire desk up with the push of a button, which is pretty, pretty cool with the uplift desk. And then I'll put the whiteboard back there and then I'm ready to roll. But it hasn't always been that way. So what I would do is I have a whiteboard back here. And so you can also use this for a whiteboard scene. But to get rid of this, you simply tilt, you tilt the, uh, the whiteboard away from the reflection of this. So it, it, in other words, like right now, this is what the camera is seeing. So the camera's pointing straight at the whiteboard, the whiteboard's tilted away, so you would be able to do a presentation and it's not gonna get in the way. So just a little, a little video hack for reflection there, okay? And then there was one more that I wanted to share with you guys, but <laughs> I'm trying to remember what it was. But anyways, when you're sitting, 
it, you know, this gives you a couple, a few different options. Uh, another one would be if you had a green screen. I have a green screen. It's all tucked away. I haven't used that. I think I've used that maybe once or twice. Um, but you can have a green screen in the background and then do editing and stuff like that. You can in Camtasia and in ScreenFlow use a green screen uh, for, for things like that as well. Um, but these are just a few different things. I wanted to give you guys kind of a behind the scenes of my studio up here and uh, give you yeah some, some tips on how I record and, and some of the things like that. Actually, I do remember what I wanted to tell you guys about. For things like this, like what I'm doing right now, which is called vlogging, you can go on Amazon and get little a little uh, tripod like this. Okay, you don't have to get the Joby, which is like 70 or 80 bucks or something like that. You get something like this, just know that the quality is not gonna be as, as good. It's literally, it's not built nowhere near as good as an expensive one, but guess what? It does the job, all right? So that's it for this one. I hope you got something out of this. And of course, I'll see you on the next video.